Hi, Martin here. Today I want to show you a product that our tool sent me. This is an EM325. This is their battery charger, jump starter, and the cool thing about the 325, it can also weld. So I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, I said, sure, I'll try it out. Now, uh, one of the, some of the features on this thing, uh, all the cable, I would say, is around a four gauge. They're all six foot leads. And that is for your ground, your positive lead, and your welding lead. Uh, it comes with six pages of instructions, which I was really impressed with. Uh, very easy to read, and it's clear on how this thing works. You know, it's not like some of those tools you get, and you get the little piece of uh, paper, and you can't understand what they're talking about. With uh, The English ain't all that great. Well, this is very easy to understand. All right, well, I'm gonna start by showing you how this, the charger works, and then we're gonna do a jump start with it, and then the welding. That's the funnest part. All right, let's get started. So when you first get this, you're gonna get your two battery cables, positive and your negative. Negative one always goes to the negative side, and the red positive to the positive side. One of the other features it has, it has a collapsible handle and it also has wheels on the back side of it right here. A little set of dualies back there. Now one thing about it, as you can see, this thing is really light. That was one of the first things that surprised me when I took it out of the box, how light it was. You know, this is an inverter welder charger, so that's one of the reasons it is so light. If it was like my Miller that actually has a transformer in it, you know, those are extremely heavy uh, but one thing about this this is easy to take wherever you're gonna go so I do like that about this all right let's get to work now this particular one is 110 volts for the USA they do make a 220 volt model for the EU or for the European countries now I got this uh, turned on, I got the weld off, and I got it set to charge. For right now, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and hook up the battery cables. Now, before charging your battery, what I would do is have the unit, you could have it plugged in into wall power, but I would have it in the off position, then hook up your, to your battery. And this will avoid any possible uh, explosions that can happen with batteries with the sparks and you got battery gases. Negative to negative. And then you're positive to positive. Now you can turn on your charger, flip it to charge. As you can see here, it's putting out how many amps? We're at 20 right now, 14.7 volts. Now this is a smart charger. It can go all the way up to 30 amps and this battery is pretty much full or close to it. This amperage is going to go slowly down as the battery gets full. Uh, as you can see right there it went from 19 to 18. And then when it's completely charged you should get a green light right here. Now this has the jump start feature. Now since I got a full battery, I can't really demonstrate, you know, jump starting on a uh, discharged battery. But what I can do is show you the power of this thing. What we're going to do, what I've already done, is disconnected the battery. And I'm going to hook this up just to the battery cables themselves. And we're going to try to jump start this with no battery, just the power of this EM325. Okay, battery cables are hooked up. All right, got it on charge right now. Flip it to start. Here we go.
it is. It's actually running off of this right here. No battery hooked up whatsoever. It actually took, didn't go the first time, but I just had a bad battery connection here, the cable. As soon as I got the connection made solid, fired right up. Pretty impressive. Looks like it's pulling about 20 amps right now. So this jump starter puts out like, I think it's around 425 or 450 amps of starting power. So that's enough to basically start your a V8 without a battery. Not bad. Now to set up your welder for welding, you're going to remove the positive cable from this location right here and then attach the electrode uh, cable to it and then turn your welder here from off to on it does not matter if this is in a charge or start mode this will automatically switch it to a weld mode and then turn your welder on your weld light comes on and then set the current uh, to the appropriate amperage that you want uh, I find a 5 to 7 for let's say 1 16th to an eighth inch metal and then anything heavier than that go above that so we'll go right there round to six and we'll start welding and you're going to see the amperage and voltage change now comes the fun part we're going to do a little welding with this thing uh, which i think is really cool about this particular battery charger you know that it can actually stick weld uh, and you can adjust the range on it as well, which I'm going to show you. I just got a couple pieces of scrap bolted here in the vise, and uh, we'll weld them up. Now we can turn it up for heavier metals. It also has an OC, which means overcurrent. Uh, protection so if you got this machine hot you know you didn't give it a rest it will shut itself off do not turn the machine off if this happens let it stay running with the uh, fan will cool the machine off and as soon as this light goes off you can start welding again so far I haven't had to, uh, that hasn't happened to me I've uh, you know had it turned up here somewhat high and it uh, and done some long passes with it and no problem well there you have it actually I'm pretty impressed with this thing uh, the all tool EM325 not a bad tool to have around um, matter of fact I got a great job coming up for this thing I uh, got some property up in Utah I need to do some welding and instead of taking my 70 pound Miller up there 
plus having to change it over to flux core wire because it's windy all up there all the time and I need to do this welding outdo uh, outdoors I bring this 17 pound welder and I got to bring a generator anyway and do all my stick welding up there so uh, this is going to come in pretty handy now if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and informative I sure appreciate the thumbs up that helps out the channel big time and if you never subscribed to me before please hit that subscribe button right down there and that little bell symbol right next to it and that way you get notified the next time I put up a video I'm also an Amazon affiliate where you'll find links in the description to products and tools that we used in this video and do all your Amazon shopping through one of those links and then the channel earns a small commission sure appreciate that well I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did thumbs up appreciate it and we will see you on the next one Thank <laughs> you.